Hello and welcome to One Cool Thing, PC Mag's daily streaming show here on Facebook. I'm Matthew Buzzy, this is Tom Brandt. Every day we bring you one cool thing that we're testing in the labs, trying out, experimenting with, uh, that we've reviewed. And today it is a, a new ThinkPad model. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. If you are watching along, uh, you can type comments in the comments section and Social Pete will read them out to you. Uh, so any questions about this, any questions you might have in general, shoot them out, we'll answer them. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, leave a like, leave a subscribe, or come over every day. 10 a.m. here during the week, uh, we have a new cool thing for you every day. Sometimes it's laptops, sometimes it's crazier new consumer tech, but uh, it's always something fun. Tom, this is a little more professional than fun. Yes. What, what do we got? We saved the best business laptop for Friday morning uh, for you to, right as you go in the weekend, to think about all the business that you need to do uh, on Saturday and Sunday. That's right. But uh, in all seriousness, this is a great laptop for business, and that is really where it's going to be used the most. IT departments from large companies and small companies and medium-sized companies um, will be buying this thing in droves because it really is um, the best mainstream business laptop if you if you are deploying a fleet of them, sure, buying in bulk for your for your employees. Yeah. We use an older version of this here. Yeah, indeed, we actually. Um, when we are not reviewing laptops, we use the Lenovo ThinkPad T470, which is issued to us by our business. By your business. Um, and uh, it is a very good laptop. The best parts about it, we will describe to you uh, as we go through. But yeah, it's um, it's it it feels nice. I'll start with that. Mm -hmm. It feels like a like a high. Oh, what are the what's the price? So it starts kind of low, but this one's kind of yeah. Okay, so the the story of this T40's price is that it starts at. $900, right? $959. Mm -hmm. But do not buy the $959 version if you are, unless you're thinking about using this at home because, as you'll see in our review um, at PCMag.com, that version has a 1360, 1366 by 768 screen, which is very low. That's yeah, like you really don't 10 even or 15 see laptops years ago. With that anymore. Yeah, uh, and, and it, in addition to that, it has a 500 gigabyte spinning hard drive. These are like 15 year old specs. Um, <clears throat> that, sounds, that sounds bad. Yeah. For, so nine, for 960 too, that's not, yeah. that's not cheap. And, and the reason for that is because the, yeah, basically that's twice as much as you would expect for specs like that. But the ThinkPad T480, like all ThinkPads, is ruggedized. It has got, has like decades of design that's gone into this. It has the, the trademark um, finger nipple thing. <laughs> And uh, you know, it's, it. <laughs> it's got other special features that they're really, so basically the, the, the moral of the story is, if you are a business looking to buy a fleet of these, you're gonna want to buy the configuration we have here, which has a list price of $1,800 for much upgraded specs, which we'll talk about. Yeah. Um, but Lenovo, like m many other manufacturers, cuts deals with businesses that are extremely proprietary. When you buy in, in bulk, yeah. yeah. but they're not public, they're negotiated. Like Tom uh, like himself deal. can't go down to the store and <laughs> right. buy a ThinkPad at that price, but right. if, you buy, if you're buying 50 of them. So, so our model is, has an $1,800 list price. If you were issued this by your company, it's likely your company didn't pay $1,800 for it. Shh, that's, that's the secret. Yeah. So, that being said, $1,800, it's built nice, it looks nice, it feels nice. What is in it? Okay, so the, for that money, you get a Core i7 processor, the latest, uh, latest KB Lake 8th generation Intel processor. It says so on the sticker, um, like many other Intel-powered laptops. And you also get an SSD, which I believe is, uh, how big is this How SSD? big is, how much storage we got? Um, Let's find out. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. It's uh, 512 gigabytes, which is perfectly adequate for the types of tasks that most uh, non-creative yeah. business types will be using. Yes. Uh, a, Excel sheets. Uh, uh, yeah, a 512 gigabyte SSD will hold many data sets, unless you are, you know, cracking the human genome, which I guess is already done. Um, yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. So, so, but then you can also note that the 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 version that we have of the T470 is available with this model. Um, it's the middle configuration for $1,200, and it has an eight gigabytes of memory, 256 gigabyte SSD, and the uh, it's a full HD display instead of this snazzy touchscreen that we have here. Ooh, tell me more. So that's just is this 1080p but touch? Uh, yes, 1080p glossy touch instead of 1080p uh, matte non-touch. Which right. honestly, if you are you know if you've got all these input options here, you've got the the, the excellent trackpad. And the pointing stick here, you might not need a touchscreen. And a um, and a 
unmatched keyboard oh, as yes. far as most people are concerned. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I believe the Pro in this particular review by Eric Grefstad here on our staff is a swoon worthy keyboard. Right. Was his description. Right. So, so, so swoon we, away. We are very particular here um, about keyboards. And this is by far the PC Mag's favorite laptop keyboard. It is excellent to type on. Even people who prefer the really shallow keys of the MacBook Pro agree that this thing really is an excellent keyboard. Um, our colleague Eric is especially a stickler about things like the, the, key, the directional arrow keys here. This is one of the few that have larger directional arrow keys. Um, the travel is excellent. The keys are sculpted. There is no flex when you touch it. That's mm -hmm. because it's ruggedized. Um, this really is the best laptop keyboard that you can buy. It's true. Uh, and the touchpad as well feels very, very nice. Um, so screen resolution 1080p, um, you said the processor i7 Coffee Lake, uh, 8 gigs in this or 16? But, but it's, yeah. Oh, is it not coffee? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> it says 8th gen. Right, but it's it's a KB Lake R Oh, um, it's, it's 8th gen. Yeah, yeah, it's not it's okay. not the latest silicon. Ooh, I'm trying to pull fast one on us. <laughs> uh, we have a question. Someone wants to know how it compares to the X1 Carbon Generation 6. You're I'm jumping so the gun. You You're jumping the gun. You clearly have done a lot of business this morning and are raring to go with the. Uh, they're looking to replace. They're out there pads. looking to replace a dull attitude. <laughs> they're home right now yeah. in bed. Are you? Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. So. All right. Well, let's let's go ahead and jump to that since uh, we are we need to get some business done here with this. Um, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon is our editor's choice for best high-end business ultra portable. It is more expensive than the, than the T-series ThinkPad, but it is way slimmer and does the same things that the, that the ThinkPad does, which is why it gets the editor's choice and not this one. Yeah. It truly is an excellent machine. I mean, this is an excellent machine, but the ThinkPad X1 Carbon is basically, it's like, a, know, it's like a premium version yes, of this. It's, the premium it's, it's version even nicer. Of that. It's thinner, it's faster, it's smaller, it's it's just a little yeah. bit better. I will say it is more expensive. I think yeah. maybe only your, your higher ups may, may get the, those fancier machines. I don't know if those will be handed out to right, because everybody. They're not as willing to do discounts with right, that. Right. Yeah. Um, I will also say you don't necessarily need that. The biggest thing is that it, it's thinner, it feels nicer, but a lot of people like our ThinkPads mostly just stay put on our desk. Um, if you are traveling a lot, you can definitely make a stronger case yeah. for getting the X1 Carbon. Um, but if you're someone who maybe takes your laptop home, works from home on it, but it's still gonna just kind of stay at your desk um, and you don't need like a super battery or you don't need a super portability, it's gonna mostly stay on your desk at home or at work most of the time. It, this is probably fine. So um, this is a more generally targeted uh, version of the ThinkPad. I think the X1 Carbon is kind of the a uh, little more niche. Uh, right, and version. the last difference, which we're gonna talk about anyway, is connectivity. Mm. As you can see here, ports. we have way more ports, but well, this one, this side not doesn't. This side, I was this like, side. I don't see, I don't know. <laughs> this side has a lot of ports that the X1 Carbon and thinner laptops do not. SD, Ethernet. Uh, full size Ethernet. Full, a big The X1 Ethernet. Carbon, Lenovo makes you buy an, a, a The X1 Carbon actually has a Ethernet a proprietary Ethernet jack that Lenovo designed themselves. That's odd. Um, and they make you buy an adapter to use it. Uh, it's not a they don't USB even give, C port. They don't include one. Some some configurations include that. Okay. I'm sure you, your your buying agent can negotiate one <laughs> for you for your business. But um, but so this is better. It has a full size Ethernet yeah. port. Uh, two more USB and an HDMI. Right. And then we have uh, this is actually the proprietary the new Lenovo dock connector here. Um, it, it doubles as a USB-C Thunderbolt 3 port, but it actually, the dock plugs into these two slots here. Dock it at your desk yeah. and have extra monitors, have there's, extra connectivity. Yeah. There's no more, um, there used to be a dock at the bottom, a dock, uh, the, our version, the T470 has dock connectors at the bottom. They've removed those from this. <gasps> but actually, I, wh while we're here Yeah, tell me bottom, about this battery. I hear, there's a lot, I hear there's a lot about a battery. Oh, and to be clear, they really think that Yoga makes the Yoga line. This is not a convertible. Right. It has a touchscreen, but this is there's no there's no tablet mode. There's no flipping. Back to the battery. Yeah. So let's go down here, and you can see that the battery life is not what you would hope it would be. Oh no. Um, and that uh, basically we have a lineup of super premium, both consumer and business uh, ultra portables here. They all did better than the T480. So <laughs> why are we talking this up so much? Because, because. you can actually or the, everything about the ThinkPad is configurable. You can order. Uh, more cells for your battery if you would like. Yes. And we actually, uh, in the review, recommend that you do that because those extra cells will probably get you up into the 11 or 12 hour range yeah. on, the, on the run. It is a nine and a half hour battery. That's 
and like I said, unless you're a big traveler or something, it's probably fun. That's probably yeah. good. It's, it's going to get plugged in during the day. You might take it to a meeting. You might take it home with you and, and use it from your couch without plugging it in. Or just buy two. But, These are swappable. And then you can get 18 hours. Oop, I don't want to take it out now. It's on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it'll love that. <laughs> um, yeah, so like nine and a half is not, by no means like a short battery life. But it, yeah, if you are definitely, if you know you spend a lot of time off the charger, maybe get the hot swap or get the, the bigger battery pack. Um, other than that, the general performance is the best out of these, even though it's only KB Lake R, not True Coffee Lake. Uh, it still kind of beats the competition, which I also see is not, is not Coffee Lake. Um, but those will keep pouring in. We'll start to get Coffee Lake uh, processors later. Um, may not surprise you that it's not really, oops, go away, Edge. It's not really a um, gaming system that, might, that may shock in all, all of you out there who wanted to do some hardcore gaming on your ThinkPad, but I regret to inform you yeah. that's not happening. And not only that, if you do things like exporting HD video or any other GPU accelerated task, yeah. this is not a great solution. Uh, the only, you can, there's a huge difference here on this chart. The only machine here with, the, with a discrete graphics card is the Huawei MateBook. 10 or X Pro. And as you can see, it can... It, it, <laughs> text Pro. The Text Pro. As you can see, it can kind of do, th yeah, do so things. It's you, not like it's great it's, either. It's roughly twice as good as any of the other ones, but but it's twice <laughs> as good as really bad. It's still only halfway <laughs> to 30 frames yeah, per second. Right, so. Um, yeah, so that is the general rundown. I think we um, I think we hit everything. The battery, the keyboard, the performance is good. Um, it's a little it's a little heavier. Yeah, it's... What is this weight here? Three um, point something? I it's believe. not... Yeah, it's not... Super, it's not an ultra portable per se, but I really wouldn't mind toting this around the office. I don't think it's like, I don't think it's a problem, even if it's a little heftier than uh, some of the competition out there. Mm, yeah, it's uh, 3.6, 3.74. 74 pounds was last year's model. This is 3.6 pounds. For reference, the 13 inch MacBook Pro weighs three pounds. So right. there is a difference of ounces there. We have another question. How safe is it being made in China? I mean, if we ask that question about anything, would we ever buy anything? It's my, so that's my, here's, that's yeah. my thought. <laughs> yes, that is, the, that is the best answer to your question. <laughs> I will tell you a lot more gobbledygook that you probably don't care about. Basically, um, Microsoft determines what goes on these, these laptops. It, it, they, the, the Windows image really is, well, let me, let me just say that if you if your business is buying one of these, you're probably putting a custom disk image onto it anyway. Um, it's going to wipe out any spyware that you think might be on there. I, I personally don't think that, that, that they're putting spyware on mainstream uh, Unless computers. by safety you meant like it's going to blow up. Oh yeah, uh, that's not the case. That's not. It's, no. probably, it's probably fine. They've been making these for since yeah. the dawn of time. Yeah, since IBM. Alive. IBM invented these. IBM is an American business. Yes, um, uh, so I think if you're if you're nationalistic, that's that's. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, That's if we got to show you. Uh, I noticed that the, um, this just a quick little thing because I was playing with it. The webcam slides over for privacy. Yeah. So this is something that they've been offering more and more now. The Think Shutter, they mm -hmm. call it. Oh, okay. They have a name a for it. TM. It's, it's the Think Shutter. Of course, not, of not, course it is. Not the Think Stutter. <laughs> the Think Shutter. And um, the, so you can get this to simply flip over the webcam in case you're worried about people spying on it you covers through it there. Up. However, if you, you don't have to put masking tape over it like some people out there. Yeah. If, if you want the, um, the IR webcam, which lets you do face recognition, you can't get the Think Shutter. It's only available with the non-IR cam. The Think Shutter. I love that. I see a fingerprint scanner as well, just quickly. Yeah, fingerprint um, scanner. There's no, there's no special card reader here, though. That's really on, like, mobile workstations. Okay. If, if, you, if you're issued, like, a, a secure card to wave over it to log in, some businesses do that. This one doesn't have that, but it does have vPro, so you are looking at secure bo booting. Right. And, and all so that. the fingerprint scan is really probably for quick sign-in. Yeah, with, right. with Windows Hello, maybe. Right. Um, so I think that's everything. Uh, it's a, what, four-star review. It is excellent. It is not the editor's choice. We did still leave that up to the X1 Carbon, yes. even though it's a little more expensive. We do have another question. So between the T480 and the X380, which one would you recommend? Uh, so we're actually just finishing up our review of the X380. The main difference with that, two main differences. Smaller screen, it's 12. 9 inches instead of 13.3 inches and it is convertible it goes all the way around mm. unlike this one um, so it's and it's a bit more portable so really it comes down to portability and if you're going to use it as a tablet right. the really cool thing about the x3d also is that when you are in in, in tablet mode the keys retract 
Oh, this that is, is I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, it's really cool. I've tested that before. As you rotate the, the keys. as you rotate the screen back, the keys literally yeah. sink into the keyboard deck to keep them safe, so that when you're holding it in tablet mode, it's flush, so stuff doesn't get in them. And it's also so that you don't like push them while you hold the tablet on the side. Yeah, but then the downsides, as with the X1 Carbon, no Ethernet port, things like that. Basically, you more Leno mobile, less of a desk yeah. workstation type. Thing. You can't go wrong with any of them, but uh, even Lenovo is not not exempt from the laws of physics of putting. I mean, they, you know, they, they, there are some compromises. There. Yeah. Um, and as I'm closing the lid here, that's our final question. I just wanted to know that it's pretty pretty fingerprinty. Oh uh, uh, yes. <laughs> I saw them reflect, let's, let's go reflecting. Reflecting in the nice light, little... I'm putting a lot of fingerprints on this thing. Here, um, you can see all of the fingerprints that we collected that, in this photo here. If that bothers you, I'm sorry. You. Yeah, it's yeah. nice and uh, nice and smudged up on that. Both on the keyboard deck and on the lid. If that's going to bother you, I'm very sorry. I don't know. Put a cover on it. Wash a, your hands every five minutes. Yes. Yeah. Never actually touch your laptop. Yeah. Use um, gloves. Use gloves at all times. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We actually have another question last minute. Is there face sign in? No, well, okay, so that's what I was mentioning. You need to order the infrared camera if you want face recognition sign-in, and then you can't get that little door that goes across the camera. That's that's how you get the face sign-in. So then you lose the privacy thing, but mm -hmm. you can get face sign-in. Yes. Windows Hello, it's baked in now to the OS as long as the hardware is there to support it. Um, also the fingerprint, though. Whoop. Makes that pretty easy. Um, okay, unless there's another last-second question. Social feed. Um, we're good. Uh, thank you so much for watching. It's been Matthew Buzzy. It's been Tom Brandt. Uh, enjoy your weekend. We'll be back again next Do week. Do lots of business. Do plenty of business. Enjoy. The weather's going to be nice. <laughs> Stay inside and do business instead. Uh, thank you so much for watching. We'll be back 10 a.m. next week.